It was 9 p.m. I was browsing through the internet when I received a text from my friend saying, Hey, Christ University has published its results. Trembling, I logged on to the application portal and I read, Congratulations, you have been admitted to the BBA Honours Program at Christ University. I had goosebumps. I was thrilled. Jumping and dancing, I ran down the stairs, shouting and howling, Mom! Dad! Look, I've got an admit to Christ University. We all were so happy. My parents were ecstatic. My father was speechless, which you know, in an Indian's household, is a very, very rare sight. They were so happy that I got an admit to Christ University. This is exactly how I felt when I got an admit from Christ University. Hardly did I know that this will be the start to the three most memorable years of my life. Congratulations to each one of you for getting an admit to Christ University. I know how much hard work and effort you guys have put in to prepare for your CUET exams as well as for your interviews. And hopefully this will be the start to the three best years of your lives too. Hi guys, my name is Kavaj Khanna. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Hope you guys are doing amazing. In this video today, I'll be telling you guys what exactly you should do and what happens after you get an admit to Christ University. So let's get started. First of all, celebrate. Take a pause at this moment and live every breath of it. You totally deserve it. Christ University each year receives thousands of applications out of which it chooses only a few to be Christ types. You guys are the chosen few. You should use this moment and feel proud about yourself as you are placing your careers in one of the best universities in the country. Share this feeling and excitement with your friends and your family members. Post it up online and let everybody know that you bagged a seat by your own merit in one of the best universities. Along with that, make sure that you send me a video of your celebrations as well. If they are creative and if I get a lot of videos, I'll surely compile them all and post it up on YouTube. One thing that Christ University has taught me is to celebrate each and every moment. And in my eyes, this is one of the biggest achievements. Make sure you enjoy this achievement. Secondly, get done with all the formalities related to Christ University. As you would have received on your email, you have to pay a deposit to reserve your seat at Christ University. If you do not pay your deposit on time, your seat can be given to a lot of other people who are on the waiting list. So make sure you do that on time. After the lockdown is over, you will be invited to visit Christ University and formally get admitted to Christ University. That process usually takes about three and a half to four hours where you will be meeting people from the admissions department. You would have to pay your annual fees as well as submit all the documents that they have asked you on your email ID. So make sure you carry all your documents. After that, you would have to open up a bank account with South India Bank, which is in collaboration with Christ University. Don't worry, there will be a lot of help on campus to help you open up this bank account. After that, there will be a photo shoot, the photo of which will be used on your ID cards. I highly request you all to please dress well for that photo because that photo is going to be hanging on your neck for the next three years. And I'm pretty sure you would want to look good on that. Thereafter, you'll be taken to a meeting room wherein you'll have an interview with one of the senior members of the faculty. That's basically not an interview, but more of a conversation wherein the faculty members will address any doubts, questions or queries you would have regarding the university as well as other course. Along with that, they will also be telling you about the important details about the university such as the discipline, the dress code, the attendance, the course, the curriculum and everything. Thirdly, take a tour of the Christ University campus. Now that you have spent so much time and money to visit Christ University in person, make sure you spend some extra time looking at the beautiful campuses as well as taking a tour of the beautiful campus of Christ University. Christ University's infrastructure is amazing and it's definitely a sight to watch for each one of you all. Along with that, make sure you spend some time looking at the classrooms, the labs, as well as other facilities and sports complexes 
that Christ University has in store for you all. Along with that, don't forget to take a look at the beautiful auditoriums and the really, really nice libraries of Christ University. If you're a birds lover, you would love and it would be a total retreat for you to have a tour of the Christ University campus as it has a birds park in all its campuses. Make sure you cherish each and every moment of this tour with your family members because you would be spending the majority of your next three years in these campuses. Fourthly, find an accommodation. I've already made a detailed video discussing and doing a comparative analysis between hostels, PGs, as well as rented apartments. Make sure you watch that video with, along with your family members and you decide beforehand where do you want to stay. In that video, I've already listed down all the possible pros and cons of all of those hostels, PGs, as well as rented apartments. I've also put down my recommendation of which PGs, hostels or rented apartments you can have a look at. I would highly recommend you guys to take that opportunity to visit all the particular hostels, PGs or rented apartments before booking one. It is very very important that you actually look at the options available and decide the best one you have. Make sure before even landing to Christ University, you have already decided where do you want to stay. Is it a hostel or a PG or a rented flat? And once you are in university, you can look at the options available for the particular one in and around Christ University. Booking an accommodation beforehand gives you a lot of advantages and benefits. A lot of people usually delay this process to actually when they are joining Christ University, which is very very late because all the good PGs, hostels and rented apartments are already booked. If you book it beforehand, you even have the option of choosing your own room as well as your own roommate. So make sure you find an accommodation and book it during your this trip to Christ University. I'll be putting down the link of that video in the description below. So make sure you watch the video. Lastly, get some skills. Usually, there isn't enough time before you join Christ University. But this time, since you have a lot of time before you join Christ University, make sure you make the most of it. It is very, very important for you to be very productive before you join Christ University. These days, there are a lot of websites which are offering free courses. So make sure you enroll on them. Use this time strategically and wisely to work on your skills, get a new hobby or develop a new passion. It is very, very important that you try to do this rather than wasting your time. I've already made a detailed video on the fasting culture at Christ University. In that video, I've talked to you all about the importance of getting your hands on to very, very important softwares such as Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel and Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. Those softwares are very, very important for you and it is going to give you a heads up and an added advantage if you already know how to work on those softwares. Those softwares are going to come in handy to complete your projects, the last minute CIAs as well as other important festing events. So make sure you try using your time wisely. Thank you so much for watching this video. Congratulations once again to each one of you who's got an admit from Christ University. I hope you liked this video. If you guys did, do click the like button. Comment below if you have any doubts, questions or queries and do subscribe to my channel. Because if you would do, I would be motivated to make more videos for you all. Take care. Bye-bye.